Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and in this video, I wanted to talk about one of the new features in After Effects 12.1, which is coming out in late October, and that feature is the Detail Preserving Upscale. Now, the feature is pretty simple to demo, and basically the point is to upscale your footage while still maintaining some quality. This could be something like SD to HD, or even HD to an Ultra HD format, but I'm just gonna demo with an SD piece of footage going to HD. So it's really pretty simple to apply it. You just drag your footage into your comp, of course, and you'll notice that it's way smaller than my comp. So I'm gonna just double click on the detail preserving upscale effect. And all I have to do is I could hit fit to comp height or fit to comp width. And in this case, because it's a different format, I'm gonna do comp width and you'll notice it will fill the screen. So I basically already set this up just so I could show you the difference between using the normal scale feature in After Effects and using the detail preserving upscale. If I show you this one, this is the detail preserving upscale. I'm just gonna make the quality at full so you guys can see it at its best possible quality and I'll also make it larger. So I hope you guys can see this in the recording. So here is the detail preserving upscale versus the regular scale. So hopefully you guys can see this on your end, but you'll notice that the detail preserving upscale will give you more of the fine detail and make it look a little higher quality and give the edges a little bit more definition. Again, here is the regular scale and here is detail preserving upscale. Now I can also come in here and tweak the detail parameter going anywhere from zero, which gives it the least amount of that edge detail, to 100, which gives it the most. And I can also tweak the scale, of course, but in this case, I just want to fit to comp width. And there's also this reduce noise feature. Now that comes in handy with even smaller formats. It will try to reduce some of that JPEGing noise quality you might have in smaller footage. So let me just show you that on a smaller clip. This clip was originally 320 pixels wide, so this is actually a 600% upscale, and this is using the regular scale feature in After Effects, and the one below it here is using detail preserving upscale. So again, regular scale feature, detail preserving upscale. And one of the things you'll notice is the definition you still maintain in this area with the detail preserving upscale. The regular scale is just a lot softer in this case. Now, it's not gonna do miracles. Obviously, this is a 600% blow up, so it still doesn't look great, but it looks better than it did previously. And if I go in, you can see if I use the reduce noise function, and turn it all the way up. You can see it kind of smooths out some of this detail. In this case, I think it's a little bit too much. Maybe I would leave that around 20 or 30 to tone it down a little bit. But the feature is there if you need it, and it's a nice way to upscale your footage while maintaining some of that edge detail. And of course, in this case, I could even turn up the detail slider a little more, and then if I compare it, you can see the edges are definitely way sharper with the detail preserving upscale. Again, it doesn't look amazing in this case because it's such a large blow up. But when you're doing something like SD to HD, it works pretty well. Hope this helped and I hope you guys enjoy this new feature once it comes out.